In this video, you are gonna learn why Stage Moms from Hell is a complete myth, don't believe the hype, and that in fact, Stage Moms absolutely rock. So let's jump into it. Myth number one that you'll see time and time again is that Stage Moms are trying to fulfill their own secret fantasy of being a performer, right? The like mean, haggard, mom who's pushing her child out there on the stage in a tutu and saying, dance, dance. I can't tell you how far from the truth this is from all of my years of coaching to talented performers and their amazing stage moms who are backing them up and supporting them. Very often, these parents don't even know what this dream is about. So often they're coming to me and saying, what is this whole entertainment industry about? How do I navigate this? And this is how I can help them understand what it means to go out for high stake auditions, for commercials, for Broadway, for college auditions. They're totally at a loss. They don't know this. This isn't their world. It's not like they have some secret agenda to you know, turn their child into some little stage prodigy. And in fact, a lot of parents will talk to me about how they're they're a little concerned. They're a little conflicted about their child going into performance. Is this a long shot? Is this just a crazy dream? Does my kiddo have any talent? Do I want to put them out there in the entertainment industry? So it couldn't be farther from the truth. So we're just going to take that first myth down right now. Um, in case you want to know, I'm voice and audition coach Jessica Neighbor. I've been coaching for 20 years, and I just can't believe these myths about stage moms from hell because they're just not true. So number two is that stage moms are pushy, 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 and only care about their child, right? Again, you can just see that image of this like, you know, bossy mom who's, you know, pushing her child to the front of the line and saying, you get the lead, you should be Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> you know, it, it's totally not true. In fact, I, most parents I know are, you know, trying to pump their childs up to feel really excited about being tree number three. Yay! If anything, you're extremely selfless, not selfish. And we know you are for these following reasons. Because you take your kids to all their rehearsals for these plays. You take them very likely to voice, um, dance, and many other kinds of classes so they can perfect their different skills. And you have to sacrifice your time, your energy, you're giving them constant um, emotional support when they maybe don't get a part they want or when they're frustrated with the rehearsal process. Um, you're giving your time and energy and devotion to your child. So that whole idea about you know being pushy and being mean and being self-centered couldn't be further than the truth. Also, we know that in theater, you're oftentimes fundraising. They're, the theater companies that you're working for are oftentimes asking you for you know, volunteer hours and extra help on top of the tuition that you're giving them. So again, that couldn't be further from the truth. And finally, I think one of the myths that I just completely disagree with are that stage moms are the B word. And you know what word I'm talking about. Again, imagine that kind of stage mom, you know, and just just picture her. And then really think about the actual stage moms that you know. They tend to be pretty tuned in parents to their performer child's needs because, let's face it, performance children and teens are emotional. They're dramatic. My mom used to call me Sandra Bernhardt. She said, even as a baby, you would cry and cry in your crib. And I didn't know what to do. I wasn't used to this child. Or like when I held my entire family hostage for all of my talent shows, and I made sure that they clap and clap every time. Let's face it, you have been trained to love and support and be kind and be um, you know, supportive about your child. If you want a little more of this kind of fun stuff to support you and to back you up, I did write a book called How to Succeed at Your Next Audition. It's a great um, manual that takes you from A to Z, everything you know about auditions, although 
if you're a good stage mom, you probably know half of the stuff in this already. And I devoted the final chapter to you parents because it's baloney. You're not a stage mom from hell. You're a stage mom from the clouds. So give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself some applause, or as I like to do, a round of applause, because in truth, you are just a parent doing what you can to support and boost your child. I bet you go and attend their performances. I bet you invite friends and family to buy tickets. And I know that you're backing your child up 100% even if you have your own doubts and question marks about what they're doing. So just wanted to give you all a shout out. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe half the videos and shows you see. You know that's baloney. You guys are doing an amazing job. So bravo to you.